Installing a pre-assembled Slide NRF8. Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to build a linear guide in just a few steps using our Slide NRF8 as an example. Here is the scope of supply which comprises the slide and all the accessories. You will need a support profile to hold the linear guide securely in place. In our example, we're using a standard 80x40 profile with 14mm shafts. All you have to do is push the slide onto the support profile. You can use the screws at the side to adjust the play on the slide. Tighten the screws until you feel resistance, then loosen them a quarter turn so that the rollers don't jam. Once you've made sure the slide is free from play, tighten the adjustment screws from underneath. Use a torque of 25 newton meters. It's only now, after adjusting play, that you install the end cap and lubricating system. If you install it right at the start, you'll find it difficult to accurately adjust the slide. Simply install the four screws supplied with the end cap and lubricating system and tighten them by hand. Use a mallet to fit the caps. The linear guide is now ready to use. You'll find two positioning collars in the scope of supply that are to be used when attaching our Line 8 profiles. These ensure excellent repeat accuracy. You can also use the positioning collar to fix other mounting elements to the slide with top precision. Upgrading the linear guide to a linear unit with a timing belt drive. You can upgrade our linear guide to make it an automated motor-driven linear unit in just a few simple steps. To do that, you need the following parts from the ETEM product range. Two standard timing belt reverse units, a timing belt, a fixing block, a tensioner. And simply insert these parts under the slide from the sides and tighten them from above using the screws supplied. No machining is necessary. There is no need to pin anything. The last step is to tighten the timing belt. We recommend using a standard preload of one tenth of a percentage for the timing belt. If your timing belt is one meter long, for example, you can achieve this basic tension by tightening it by around one millimeter. You can access the screws for adjusting the tension of your timing belt at the side. The result is a completed linear unit with a timing belt drive. ETEM, your ideas are worth it.